Hey guys, welcome to my next vid about how to make easy levels without <coughs> trading skills, only using quests. So now we're going to um, do the second uh, great combat quest, which is called Trigonome Village. It gives you more, uh, very much uh, strength, uh, attack XP. And you can also teleport with uh, gnome trees. But first we need to bank because we need to uh, get some food. And also we need to... Uh, we need to take the eggs from the bank. We need uh, to cut six. Uh, we need to cut six normal logs. But first we're gonna... Thief some cakes <clears throat> to get some food because we need to walk. Um, we st the quest start is in the maze of the Trigno village, so we need to go to the maze first, and that uh, requires some food because there are uh, monsters that can attack you. So now we're just gonna steal some food. Oh, 21 thieving. That's very nice because that's also a requirement for another quest. We will do after this one. Now you're caught, so I go run. Three cakes should be enough for now. Now we just on the way to the to the maze. We will cut six logs, normal log. armor on um, for protection we just cut the tree to get six logs first it's required for the quest also bring some food because of the monsters in the maze and after that you need to bring some food because in the middle of the quest you uh, you face a guard from level 48 going to, who's going to attack you level 14 look better so to left So we got 6 logs, now we go to the maze, I will save my energy because we need to win. So like I said, the quest starts in the middle of the maze <coughs> and um, you must help the king of the gnomes to recapture the orbs, they captured by the Khazad guards. This is the battlefield, they fighting there already. So once you are uh, done with the maze, you know there are quite some monsters in the maze, but when you're done with the maze, after that you can always, always talk to Elkoi and he will uh, guide you through the maze so you don't need to go to there anymore. So first we're going through here. 
these monsters will not attack you because they are red. So we just follow the path. This is the maze pad like this, and then you go through here, and then you come here, and then here, you need to be here at the fence. You can go through that, and then you are in Trignome Village. Go around this part. A bit. And you go to the mount. To the fountain, next to the fountain, to the south part of the maze. It's not a big maze, but you still must go through it. And then you need to go past the hill giants. Goblin will attack you, of course. So now we run this part. And we passed it. <coughs> So it will be at its at its fence here to go through. If you help you can, you can escort you. So we go through the fence. And now we talk with the king to start our quest. <coughs> king Baldwin. If you can help, and then he asks you to get the uh, get the orbs back from the battlefield. So you say you will be helping. And he guides you immediately. Of the maze. Uh, now you must uh, find the commander of the gnomes. That's, uh, that's him, Commander Montai. And he will ask you for four six uh, logs. You say okay, get us some wood, and then you talk with him again to give the wood. Now you are required to get the coordinates. First, you need to talk to him again. Then you say you, can, you will get the coordinates from him, from the three gnomes that are in the battlefield. So you go there now to find the gnomes that have the coordinates. So one gnome is... Uh, Prison. Check him home too. He's in the prison here. So you can ask him his coordinate. <clears throat> and then he told you, and then he, then he tells you uh, the I coordinate. So you did that. Now you go to Gnome 1, he's behind the, uh, behind the battlefield. He tells you the high coordinate. Now you need to go to the last Gnome, 
he's in the south of the battlefield. But he doesn't, he's like uh, traumatized by the war, so he will uh, give you a riddle. Uh, he, tells, he tells you a riddle because he can't remember. So then he uh, says, more than my head, less than my fingers, that means the coordinate is 2. And then uh, we need to fill that in because you only need this guy's coordinate because the other coordinates are already, uh, are, are already there. <coughs> so we're gonna fill that in. So we fill in the ballista too. <coughs> we need to uh, pick the right number. So you use two, and then he shoots, and then he uh, destroys the, the front of the Casar building, which allows you to go in and take the take the orbs. We can do now. So there's a huge uh, crack now in the building. Not a huge crack, but it's, it's a crumbled wall. So you need to go uh, over there. This guy will attack you. So we're gonna wait till we have some bit more uh, hit points and then we run through this door stairs and then uh, there's another guard so you must be careful all right we pass that guard now you go up here and there's another guard that will attack you so you must be you must be uh, quick to take the loot and search it then you find one orb which you must return to the Trigno village. Oh, you can uh, go to the, this, this door if you're here. Let's save some hit points. So, now we're gonna bring the orb back, the orb of protection. You talk, then you follow Okoy, so you immediately in the at the end of the maze. Then you go through the loose railing. Then you give the king the orb. So he says you have the orb, and then. Um, he says that someone stole the other two orbs and killed his family, so that's not that good. So now you need to um, to bring the lost orb also back to you, back to him. And the lost orb um, is located here at the east part of uh, of the of the of the wall, and it's protect. It's um, a warlord has hit, so you must kill him. We can do that with, with, with mage. We already put it on uh, dirt. Be careful, you need to uh, keep six earth rooms for the next quest. So don't come under six. You can save spot uh, this warlord. Because he can't, uh, he only um, can come to a limited uh, area. So if you're out of the area, he can't come there, and you can just uh, 
cast spells, cast spells on him without uh, getting hit. You can you must take your armor off because it uh, good for, it's not good for magic. If you have melee armor on, watch out for these walls. They are quite powerful. So and once we're here, you can see the warlord uh, standing at the end here. You first need to talk with him because um, you first need to ask him for the orbs. So now we're gonna run very quickly back. And we're gonna attack him. Like he can't come to this area, so you can attack him. And then he comes back, and then you walk back. And then you still attack him. Only couple hit points left. He has quite some uh, hit points. It's uh, quite annoying. But he can't hit us, so we can just kill him. One blast left. And then you kill him. And then um, you get the Orb of Protection, like all of them, that's very good. And you take them and then you need to bring them back to the king and then you complete the quest. So that's a very, mm, very useful way to complete this quest. Watch out for the wolves, they can still hurt you. So that's why we have cakes. And then we could walk back to the castle and to the maze. <clears throat> and then we go to give the horse back and finish the quest. Which gives you more than 11,000 attack XP again. And teleport with the um, gnome trees, which I will show you how that works. Follow, I'll go again to the maze. Then you go to the to the jail, to the, to the bars, and then you uh, walk back to the king. And you give him the, the orcs back. So once you're here, you talk with him again, and you give him the uh, orbs, and then uh, they will um, heal the spirit tree <coughs> with the orbs. So they come available again, and then he, uh, the quest is complete. Gives you eleven thousand four hundred fifty. Uh, the XP, access to the spirit trees and the gnome amulet, and to quest point, so you immediately become 35 attack. That means uh, you can wield element now, and also battle stars. The spirit tree, you can travel with the spirit tree to the front exchange, that's very useful, to the battlefield where you just was, to the Chrome Stronghold, I will teleport there to show you. That's like the, um, the stronghold of, of the gnomes, also imported in some quests and at the crown tree. So that was the vid for today, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you at the next vid. Thanks for watching.